I will need to tell code to go through these cells here in this column. So I need to find a way to refer to this column. One way could be, say, uh, range C2 to C6. But then if I have, if the number of managers change more or less, then I, especially if they are more, then I'll be uh, leaving some, someone uh, behind. So one of the things, one of the tricks that I usually use for this is to come here to formulas, name manager, and simulate that I am creating a named range for this column and go new. And here I'm going to say select the column. And you see how it refers to the range? It's the name of the table that is named after the query. And then in between square brackets is the name of the store manager. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. You can do control C. Or you can come here and copy. So I'm going to cancel this. And let's go back. I'm going to close this. I don't need to create that name. I just wanted you to find a way until you get used to the name of uh, to the way of referring to columns in tables to find a way, an easy way to help you with that.